January 1st, Obama's health care bill takes effect. And this is the same exact health care policy, if you want to call it that, that Adolf Hitler adopted in the hospitals of Germany in 1939. Uh, at that time, there were conditions of economic collapse, just like now. And it's not unusual during such a time to say that human beings are too expensive to keep alive. So that's the rationale between this, uh, behind this policy being pushed now. Don't follow the hype about this being a choice about when you get to end your life. <laughs> so this is a point that I made and LaRouche made a year and a half ago uh, during the debate around the health care policy. This is the T4 policy of the Hitler, uh, of a Hitler policy in 1939, where he said certain, certain lives are not worth living. Certain people, we should not spend the money to keep them alive. My question to you, my question to you is, why do you continue to support a Nazi policy? As Obama has expressly supported well, me, this policy, why are you supporting it? Let me, we said at that time, this was a Nazi policy. This was the identical policy of Adolf Hitler in the Tiergarten 4 program in the hospitals of Germany. And Obama has shown that that is explicitly what he wants to do to the very T, even against the will of Congress, as they uh, as they voted out uh, Section 1233 of the health care bill. Uh, Obama reinserted this Medicare provision, which uh, awards doctors for getting more patients to sign on to denying end of life care through these advanced directives and things like that. So that's paying doctors to kill people. And this is not a policy which can be accepted by the American population. And our slate of six candidates and the Bush pack are not gonna stand for it because once you go down that slippery slope of viewing a single human being as expendable, you have entered a period of hell for your nation. That is, was the beginning of the death camps. So let's not turn our doctors into murderers.